Best I've ever gotten into the game. Um, <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> what the video okay, no analog control. was no about exactly, uh, but all I really know is that you're you're a spy, you have a car, and the car can shoot things out of it. <laughs> that's that's pretty much the extent of the knowledge that I have of the game and from what I've seen of it. Uh, and that's about as much as you can get from the box too. Looking at it here. Not gonna lie, that HP ga gauge looks epic. Yep. <laughs> uh, are you talking about Spy Hunter or the the little video that's uh, playing while we wait to set everything up? Because if you're talking about Spy Hunter, I don't actually know what the HP gauge looks like. <laughs> the, uh, the game that's playing just in the background there while we just BS for a couple minutes, so... That was a pretty interesting game. It's a really early from software game if you know like the Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Bloodborne games and whatnot. It's uh I mean it's not as good as those games I'd say, but it's interesting, to say the least. Something I wanna spend more time with sooner or later. But alright, hopefully everybody got their notifications. I think it's about time for us to uh, to hop into the game. Why not both? But honestly, with you playing these games, gives you an idea on which ones you would like. So I adore your PS2 console. Well, thank you, Rue. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of the point, right? Not only for myself, but also for uh, to give a little bit of recognition to these games, and so people know what they they may or may not be interested in. That's I mean, also why we do the the. Just one more level podcast. It took me a second to uh, <laughs> remember the dang name of it. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for hopping in the stream. And thank you for the cupcakes. You're a little bit early, but <laughs> but I appreciate it, love. Thank you. They're cute. Cute little dancing cupcakes there. Way easier than looking up what games might be good to buy. Exactly. And, like, I, I'm not nearly as good as he is in any way. Don't get me wrong. But one of the people that I kind of watched and, and grew up with during my teen years um, was John Total uh, Total Biscuit, John Bain Total Biscuit. He, uh, he, he did a series called WTF where he would play a bit of a game and kind of, you know, critique it. He was, he was much more, not a full review of a lot of games, but he would critique the first couple hours of it and whatnot and that was a huge help to me personally in my formative years of pc gaming because I, I i didn't know what to buy you know i had no idea and by watching him and his content i was able to get an idea of what i was into and uh i mean he like i said i think his content's much better than mine don't get me wrong <laughs> but i uh i have mad respect for for what he did as far as the gaming stuff goes. I know there was some controversy there with him at one point or another before he sadly passed away. But still, I respect what, what, what he did. And uh, it's bled over into my content, definitely. I always complain about your bits. How do I complain about your bits? <laughs> I said thank you for the bits, Mr. Noodle. That's not complaining. And I said your cupcakes were cute. You're just a little early on the birthday thing there. You still got a few weeks left for that. <laughs> Sounds really helpful. Sad ending, though. You want to know why I started Dragon Age? Because it literally had the name Dragon in it. And you <laughs> oh, fair enough, you know? You know what you like, and you're stuck to it. Um, but yeah, it, it was sad. <laughs> See, Mr. Noodle, you are appreciated. You and your bits, love. Alright, any settings that we need to mess with before we get started? I don't believe so. Controller, extras, nope. We'll just go into operations, why not? And I was just saying thank you before you got in here, Mr. Noodle, for the game as well. She just ignores all the nice things I say about her all the time and just pretends that I'm mean to her. I keep warning her, one of these days she's gonna actually start to believe <laughs> these things that she uh, comes up with, but... Uh, She's the worst. <laughs> oh, did I get those one? Yeah, it's one of the ones you got for, for me. Um, one of the, the, what, $5 you spent on each of the games, I think it was. <laughs> so for five bucks, I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. You know I'm joking, Mr. Noodle. You don't need to put the sad eyes there. <laughs> I love you.
<laughs> Must complete primary objective to pass level and secondary objectives to advance missions. Double tap X button for turbo boost. L1 button cycles offensive weapons. R1 button fires active weapons. Circle button fires GPS trackers. I'm going to forget all of that in like 30 seconds. Less actually, because I've already forgotten <laughs> what each of them buttons do. Okay. Man, I am still all stuffed up and everything. I went and got a COVID test just to be on the safe side. I don't think I have COVID, just to be clear. But I went and got one just to be safe, because if I do end up having it, I don't want to spread it around. And then I uh, found out that one of the guys that I work with um, actually did end up getting COVID not too long ago. So I'm a little more worried about it now after after seeing that. But I'm, uh, I've already had COVID and I am vaccinated, so... Here's hoping that it missed me. I'm assuming we can't just like plow through these barrels and whatnot that we actually need to dodge them. Fun fact about the PS2, I've brought it up a couple times, a lot of people don't know. It actually has pressure sensitive buttons and not like the triggers, but the actual face buttons. So some games like this here, you actually, well, I say like this here, I don't know if this game is one of them or not. Um, are we supposed to be going through all of these? Oh, we were probably supposed to go through those. We might have to redo this. Ow. Uh, <laughs> anyways, so some games like racing games, again, not necessarily this one, we, uh, you actually have to press the button down harder, and however hard you press the button down actually changes the speed that you'll, like, accelerate or whatever. Oh, we have a rear view mirror. Oh, we have oil that we can drop out of the back? Okay. Uh, so circle is missiles. Uh, are we supposed to be shooting these? Oh, that's boost. <laughs> oh, no. Yep, yep, we're... <laughs> we, we are doing bad. So bad. What is the fire button? I've forgotten. Uh... Reverse, please. <laughs> okay. Is there a restart? I think we're just gonna restart. Yeah, good. Noodle, you're gonna love me for this. And oof, I know the feel. I was exposed twice because of the college campus. That's, yeah, that sucks. <laughs> That's one of the worst parts about working retail through all of this. Like, I'm thankful I still have a steady income throughout all of it. Don't get me wrong. But, um,. Just the, the constant exposure. I've been exposed so many times. Only gotten it once, thankfully, but yeah. So avoid the barrels, shoot the targets. Activate all satcoms. Ah, uh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> it throws me off my games so much. I'm already having trouble between the sickness and trying to figure out what the hell to do. Here we go. Here's your, your five minutes of, uh, what the hell is it called? I've forgotten the name. The ABCs. <laughs> I've already forgotten how to sing down with the sickness. That's what happens when you put me on the spot. <laughs> I don't know what to say every time you do this is lame. I need to know the time as well, because if I don't check, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it's 23.50. I'll have to remember 55 is when I get to stop. Get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Yeah. <laughs> I actually really like Disturbed. It's kind of sad. I can't remember it. But I guess that's what happens when you put me on the spot. What do you expect? This is hard. It's gonna be every... Uh, we failed that objective. <laughs> I'm blushing now and... <laughs> freaking terrible. <laughs> We're doing better than last time, at least that's good. And, um, I can't rhyme. Uh... Oh, ah, ah. <laughs> get, get up, come on, get down with the sickness. Uh, uh, it's hard to focus and to sing, if that's what you can call this thing. 
it, it's hardly singing when all I do is sing ABCs and uh, um, I love Noodle too. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been a minute what the hell I need this to stop so I can talk what's uh, another song uh, I don't know gotta turn around and get the thing I know that's the wrong way. I don't know why you're telling me, like, I'm not trying. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm seriously gonna have to raise the price of that. <laughs> Because it's too much. <laughs> oh, God. Thanks for the bits, Mr. Noodle. I love you bunches, and you're the best. I might have to rethink that if you keep this up, though. What objective did we fail? I thought we were supposed to... Uh, it kill things. We failed a couple, but I think that's enough to at least win the mission. You gave me bits for the effort. I appreciate that. But uh, this is still terrible. Now we're in a motorcycle, and that's uh cool, I guess. The transitions are neat. Oh, no. Ah! It is a bit weird, but that's okay. I, uh, think it was neat to transition <laughs> between the different vehicle types, even though it's a bit weird. <laughs> Y'all really make me want to turn it off. I probably won't, but it's pretty hard. One more minute, time's almost up, and then I can stop this mess. <laughs> I'm not feeling too much love when you make me sing the ABCs for five minutes straight. <laughs> if I could think of anything else, I probably would, but it's really impossible. Uh... <laughs> oh. Good evening, gentlemen. Thank God the time is up. I <laughs> I don't know. Here today to I gave you the lyrics to the night by Disturbed. I saw that, but I couldn't remember the tune when you put me on the spot. <laughs> As Chris Jenner would say, you're doing great, sweetie. Thanks. <laughs> So are these like the the group of spies, or are these the people we're spying on? Venice, French Riviera, Germany, England, United States, and Panama. After each base has completed its operations, we will then meet in Petra, where you shall all witness the launch of the Four Horsemen. Upon my command, a strategically placed satellite shall emit an electromagnetic pulse that will spread like a much-needed cure across the globe, leaving the Earth cleansed, completely drained of power. Neither the deepest canyons nor the highest mountains shall be spared. Unfortunately, there is one precaution we must take. Our insiders tell us that IES is aware of our presence and has sent a spy to stop us. Normally, I wouldn't worry about a single spy, but I have reason to believe that this is the Can you just say that even though you've only known me and Noodle for like a week or so, you guys already like your best. Ah, thank you, Rue. You seem pretty cool too, honestly. I'm glad. I'm glad you stumbled across the stream. One of the. I don't actually remember which one exactly, but <laughs> I'm glad you did. It's been awesome. Hey, what up, Nate?
That's okay. You didn't need to see the singing or hear the singing. That dude looked creepy as hell. The God of War stream. That's right, because we were talking about anime, me and Nate, and then you hopped in, and then we all got started talking about anime together and video games, and that's when you brought up Odin Sphere. I remember. <laughs> Snack buddy? Hell yeah, snacks for life, man. <laughs> yeah, that you two are very good at that, no doubt. So, I was hardly paying attention to the cutscene. There is one thing we need to do, though. Is there an option for, like, um... Subtitles? Doesn't look like it, sadly. Oh, there's a cheat grid? That's cool. Not enough objective points to access level. Oh, okay. So, we failed too many objectives. While technically we beat the level, I guess, it wasn't good enough. So, we have to avoid all the barrel obstacles... Place trackers on boat targets. Is that what the missile looking things are? Trackers? Clear 50 meters on turbo jump. Minimize civilian casualties. Okay. We'll try it again. Oh, well, dang. It just gave me the notification. You love Disturb? We all love Disturb. <laughs> but I, I didn't try to sing Disturb because, look, when you're put on the spot like that, everything you've ever known is just like disappears from your mind <laughs> i've listened to the first few albums by disturbed at least probably a hundred times if not more whenever i was you know my teenage years and whatnot and uh yeah nope that and that's like all i could remember was get up come on get down with the sickness uh and that's pretty much it <laughs> and then you uh sent the lyrics to into the night but like i can't remember the tune for it at all. I need a bit of a backing track. That's what it is. I gotta find a royalty-free, free-to-use version of it that I can, uh... <laughs> that I can put up. Can't believe you forgot the monkey sounds, though. <laughs> I've never heard anybody call them monkey sounds before. <laughs> oh. I've actually heard that some people don't like Disturb because their music is, like, too samey or something like that. I've never personally had that issue, but I had a uh, big metalhead friend in college that used to complain about that. Yeah. I think he's a little bit crazy personally, but you know, whatever. <laughs> it's good stuff, man. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna do better this time. We're gonna get all of the objectives for sure without fail. I mean, it's probably a little early to form a opinion on this game yet, but honestly, it feels somewhat fun uh, already, and we've already failed the <laughs> barrel objective. That's good. I don't know how we're supposed to dodge those uh, barrels there. Like, it wants us to dodge them, but there's a whole line of them. Like, how the hell... How the hell do you do that? Maybe there's, like... Is there a jump button? <laughs> I know there's the oil button there that we just did, and then there's the turbo button. Maybe we can, like, go up on the the side of the the road or something, the side of the hill. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to kill civilians, I promise. It's, it's kind of hard. And then what's the turbo button? I need to remember the turbo button. Does it have, like, a control thing in it? Hey, Mr. Noodle with another five bits. You are killing it tonight, love, with the bits. I appreciate it. Is it because I'm sick, so you're trying to make me feel better by donating a crap ton of bits? If so, it's working. Thank you. <laughs> Jokes, of course, but thank you, love. <clears throat> yeah, I can already feel the congestion rising up with every word. Since you're here, been told you also enjoy- Oh yeah, no, that's that's definitely Nate. That really likes Dragon Age. His internet connection isn't the best, so he might not be seeing the messages at the moment. But yeah. You've donated almost 200 and it resets in one day? Ah, well thanks, love. If it weren't for Dorseman going crazy there that one day... I think you would have been the uh, the top supporter every 
pretty much every month or whatever, huh? Regardless, you'll always be the best supporter in my heart. <laughs> Green tea, very nice. I got a new kettle. I don't know if you were around whenever I mentioned... Oh, shoot! Yeah, okay. We gotta restart. We failed, like, all of the... Dorseman is a loser. <laughs> it cut out. Can you repeat that? Uh, I don't know what part cut out. I'm sorry. Oh, the kettle? Is that the part that you're talking about? We got a kettle for Christmas. I think I may have mentioned it yesterday or, or uh, on one of the other streams. But it's like one of those ones you can actually set the temperature on. Because I'm not going to say no names, but the only girlfriend I've had for the past like 10 years uh, broke the last one that we had that had temperature settings on it. And uh, <laughs> I've wanted another one ever since. Because some things, you know, you want boiling water for, but there are things that you want just hot water for. Not, not quite boiling, like 100 some degrees or whatever for different kinds of teas or coffees or, or whatever the case may be. So, uh, yeah. I'm happy to finally have another one. We haven't set it up yet, because we had a late Christmas with uh, her family, part of her family, and they're the ones that got that for us. Technically, I guess they got it for me, but how do you get around the barrels? Oh, this hillside. You had another girlfriend allowed? Shut up. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> oh. oh. I love you, Mr. Noodle, so much. <laughs> um, yeah, so Mr. Noodle, then, if she wants to act like that, broke the other one. I don't even remember how she did it. I think she... What were you doing with it, love? You, like, used it one day or something, and uh, you got the bottom of it all wet where it plugs in, like, to the heating element or something like that, and then turned it on? I don't remember. That was forever ago at this point. But, uh... We're going to restart because we screwed up the stupid barrel part anyways. Oh, you boiled, you dry boiled it. That's what happened. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. So we got another one and hopefully it has protection from that sort of stuff. So she is an extremely crumsy, clumsy person, man. Extremely. Um, I love her with every bit of my soul, but she is <laughs> incredibly clumsy. But that's okay. I've accepted it. <laughs> She's like a cat, right? They break things, but you can't help it because they're just so damn adorable. <laughs> you forgive them anyways. <laughs> You've done both, but definitely agree with makes freedom in the long run. I think I missed a message somewhere. <laughs> Alright, we gotta we gotta pay a little bit of attention. I We gotta get these objectives. We've been through this level, what, three times now? Ridiculous. There we go. Just got to go up the side. Oh, come back around. All right. So far, so good. We're doing good. It's her job to mess with you. And you're making it yours, too. <laughs> Thanks, Rue. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> oh. And then... Agree with makes freedom in the wrong one. I missed something. I don't know what I missed. Oh, is ours made by Drew Barrymore, love? I didn't actually notice that. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't think we are on a timer. Or I guess we are, but it looks like it's a pretty long timer. So we could probably take our time a little bit more and not, like, rush through it quite so much. But, oh well. I actually think the transitions are pretty neat. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh. Especially in this water part, I think we need to go a little bit slower because these are some sharp ass turns, man. Like right here, and then this away, and then instantly back the other way, and back again, and then all the way over here. Alright. We got this. Oh, God. I think one of the reasons why I really like these transitions is because when I was younger, when I was a kid, I always wanted to... I, I wanted to make someday, but uh, I'm not that insane anymore, a uh, vehicle that could transition from, like, 
land to air to to water like that sort of deal but uh yeah i mean obviously as i got older i realized that wasn't quite as easy as maybe i had hoped but i did put some uh, research into it and like uh <laughs> started looking up different materials and weights and how much thrust you would need to get things into the air uh some real big nerdy stuff <laughs> Got it. Got the trackers. Excellent. Alright, so where is this jumping part at? Somewhere around here. Is it this one? I don't think it's this one. It was that one. Crap. Well, that sucks. So, we still don't know what the turbo button is, though. Is it triangle? No, that's rear view mirror. Oh, Lord, what happened? I think maybe I hit the handbrake. <laughs> I love, I like that, how we can just go up into the vehicle. It's a little weird how we go up into it as a motorcycle and then come out as a full car, though. That's a little odd. Alright, this is pretty much the end, right, if I remember correctly? I think that's it? Yeah, the green, the green line's right there. We got it. That should be enough. Let's catch up on chat a little bit. Let's see. What did I miss? Stream, how could you? Got that. Awesome kettles are amazing. What kind you get? Oh, Mr. Noodle answered that for you. In that case, you must ask Nate, who do you support in the lands meet? And are you pro-mage or pro-templar? Oh. Same here, though. Where'd Nate? Oh, I've done both, but definitely agree with Mixed Freedom. Okay, that's that's where the confusion came from, because I had no idea what Nate was talking about. He was answering you, Rue. Same here, though. I definitely prefer Alistar as king, just so I don't have to choose between him and Hawk and the Fade. Romance-wise, if you do so at all. I mean, don't we all dream of that as a kid, though? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I uh, Once upon a time, like I, I don't want to fly anymore. But when I was younger, there was a, a pretty significant chunk of my life where I wanted to be some sort of pilot. Um, nowadays, I, I don't know if I ever want to get on an airplane. I love trains, though. Trains are cool. <laughs> Your stuff is so pretty. Someone got one of our air fryers for like $9. I mean, don't we all dream? Yes, it's been a minute since I've done Lands Me and done that one multiple ways, too. <laughs> How many times have you played through Dragon Age at this point, Nate? That's a great price. Yeah, Bastard's on turn. Great Lord and turn king. Right, so I was so jealous. I like trains. Trains are going to be... <laughs> oh. I really do. I've only ever been on one train, but it was a fairly long ride. It was from basically all the way north, uh, northern U.S. to down to Disney World, the bottom of Florida. So, or middle, bottom, whatever, whatever it is. So... It was pretty fun. We we had one layover, but it was only for a couple hours, so we just got sandwiches and kind of, they had like a viewing platform at the top of the station and whatnot. So we went up there and took a look at things, and then we hopped on the next train, but it was a lot of fun, and I, I really want to do it again. Someday, Mr. Noodle and I are going to take a train ride to like, I don't know, California or something, and then just maybe stay one night there and then hop on a train and come back just to be in the train, get like a nice night car with a bed and everything so we can just relax and... You know, instead of staying in a hotel, we'll just stay in a train. <laughs> you prefer planes to cars just because stats-wise they're safer than a car? And I know that. And my logical side of my brain says that that's, you know, that's the safer way to travel. And I shouldn't be scared of it. But it, just the idea of getting on a plane, though, flares my anxiety up like mad. And I think part of it's probably because, like, in a car, if I'm driving a car somewhere and I start to get anxious or uncomfortable or whatever... I could probably pull over, you know, I could stop um, within, if not instantly, within, you know, five minutes, I should be able to find a exit on the highway or whatever to pull over somewhere safe and, and have a moment to breathe and, and, and relax or whatever I need to do. But in a plane, once the plane, like, shuts its doors, you're in that plane until you get to wherever you're going. So, and I think that's a big reason of why it messes with my anxiety so much. 
What's sad is that in your hometown, there's the Royal George train that goes through the gorge itself. And George. <laughs> gorge itself, and you've never taken a ride on it. We don't have one quite that insane where we live, but um, within... It's a few hours away. It's not extremely close, but within a few hours of us, there's a couple scenic trail uh, or, or train routes that uh, we haven't gotten to go to yet. We tried to go to one a couple times, but circumstances stopped us from doing it both times that we had scheduled. But we still plan on doing that. And then I was talking to a gentleman not too long ago who uh, ended up being a bit of a train enthusiast, I guess. And he recommended another one that's also a few hours away. So your defense, you were in a car crash. You were the side that got hit. That's, yeah, I can understand why that would kind of uh, ruin cars for you. I've only ever been in one car wreck, and thankfully it ended up not being all that bad um, for either of us passengers, or, or either of the people in the vehicle. I mean, the vehicle itself got pretty torn up, but uh, we both were just a little banged up after, you know, a day of rest, though. We were we were both fine, thankfully. And it was, a, it was a, just us. There wasn't another vehicle involved, so that's that helps, too. Enough to accomplish and repeat your best playthrough for story options multiple times and learn most of those options through previous playthroughs. So a lot is what you're saying. <laughs> you basically have most of the game memorized, including side quests and gifts. Y'all are insane. <laughs> I the I don't know what game I put the most time into. Skyrim is up there for me, but I've never beaten Skyrim. Fallout 3 is also really up there for me. Um stardew valley put you know hundreds of hours into that but uh honestly it sounds like both of you have played dragon age more than i've ever played any game ever so <laughs> uh i didn't pay any attention to the objectives is there a way to see them again minimize civilian casualties very cool activate all satcoms okay it's easy enough destroy transport trucks oh we might have missed that one. I don't know if it'll, like, show us where the transport trucks are. Oh, that's cool. Are these the transport trucks? Ow. I don't think they are, because we're, we're getting something telling us to shoot something over there, so... What? <laughs> that was cool. This game actually seems like it'd be pretty fun. I think it has a two-player mode. I'll have to maybe check that out at some point. Oh, the Dorseman's here. Hey, Dorseman. I didn't even see you hop into chat, bud. How you doing tonight, man? I half expected you to be asleep, to be honest with you. Sorry, I'm having trouble keeping up with chat with uh, all of the action that's going on here. This game is much more fun than I expected. I'm not going to lie. Whenever I first got it for Christmas from Mr. Noodle, I was like... Hey, Spy Hunter, I've heard of that. Ah, I don't think it's very good, but <laughs> that's cool to add it to my collection, you know? But no, it's actually, uh, seems like a pretty decent game, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this dude's being a bit of an asshole here, and you mind just getting out of the way? Don't we have turbo or something? Oh, oh, I have missiles. I forgot about that. Apparently, that's how we, we change between them here. How do we... I saw that sat nav thing up there. How the hell do we get that? Okay, so triangle does that. Circle shoots trackers. Um, I would have loved to get in there, but uh, turns out I can't. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm missing like all of the chat. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to. Why are you cutting in front of me? <laughs> are they are they bad guys? They got to be bad guys, right? These aren't civilians. <laughs> I hope a civilian wouldn't just like cut in front of a speeding spy car here like this. Oh, I mean, I, I guess just ramming straight into it's one way to destroy it. It looks like our we might have our own health meter though, and it's uh it's falling down a little bit, dude. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> How do I speed up? <laughs> there's gotta be, I know there's a turbo button. What is it? All right. Oh, we're so screwed. We're so screwed. 
Hey, Mr. Noodle with another five bits, and now you got the thing, love. You got, oh, missiles. Uh, can you like get in front of me, delivery truck? I, I just want to shoot you. We're just gonna, we're just gonna stop here. <laughs> there we go, one truck left. How, how? That's like way up in the air. How the hell are we supposed to get it? All right, so, well, we can get that one. That one was easy enough. Ooh, I like the variations in the level too. Very cool. I'm into it, man. Okay, so we're almost to the end of the level. Too bad we kind of, uh... Oh, wait. We actually got all of them. Okay. Very cool. But all of them except for the activate all the satcoms. It has been over a half hour, so we are going to take a short break. But I'm going to uh, look through chat and talk a little bit while we are on the break screen and running the ad. So... For everybody that doesn't have a ad blocker or subscribed, uh, we're just gonna do a minute and a half or so of ads while I answer some questions, and then we'll be back to the game. For everybody else, though, let's chat for a minute, shall we? What have I missed? Oh man, I missed a fair bit. The Dorseman just said Minecraft? Oh, as your most played game? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense for you, Dorseman, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Dorseman has played an insane amount of Minecraft. Oh heck, your car crashed, the passenger door was totally crushed and even affected the back door. Wow, that's terrible, man. A thousand hours in Skyrim on multiple consoles and Dragon Age you've played for a solid eight months because of your love for it. I don't have quite that much time in Skyrim. Mine's in the probably around five-ish hundred if I had to guess, 600, but not a thousand. <laughs> oh, Dorseman stream called you a loser, you missed it? Probably. I don't remember saying that, but uh, hey, Dorseman, you're a loser, and I love you, bud. Uh, <laughs> don't have it memorized perfectly, but it comes back to me as you play. Your brain is very disorganized filing cabinet with a unique sorting system, Nate. That sounds about right. <laughs> I am asleep. What? <laughs> How are you in the stream if you're asleep, Dorseman? <laughs> I noticed. I'm glad you're missing. You are invading their land. I'm so confused. I don't know what all these messages were about. <laughs> Welcome. I actually have the PS3 version, so once the bug happened, I get the bug every time or when you're in the Temple of Fame. Oh, that's a Dragon Age thing. No, no look. Wait, what? No, no look. No look at what? <laughs> I'm very confused. What are you, what are you no, no looking, Mr. Noodle? You don't want me to look at chat? <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss something? Did you say something very rude? Oh, we are not setting things up. We are on a short break. You already did, and I didn't get yelled at? Oh, I mean, it's the Dorseman. You're allowed to call him a loser. <laughs> I'm actually kind of surprised he's not in here agreeing that he is a, a loser. You asked why the cars were attacking you. You're just barreling through their town, blowing things up. To be fair, I wasn't just blowing up things like willy-nilly. I was just blowing up the bad guys, okay? They deserved it. They did something. I'm not quite sure what they did, but... It, I mean, you know. <laughs> they, 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 uh... They angered the secret organization of spies that took over the world, so... Or something. Four horsemen this, you know? Uh... Story. <laughs> Chat always helps being so entertaining. I've got a good group of friends, you included. They don't always know that, <laughs> or they don't know that. The civilians. I mean, look, they they know. Like in the back of their mind, they know that there is some shady shit going down in their town, and they're just letting it happen, right? Like they're just they're just paying their taxes, going to work in their nine to five at that shipping company, and they see those strange crates coming in that. They have a pretty good feeling are full of drugs and weapons and whatnot. They just ignore it. Who cares? Their boss is paying them money anyways, you know? As long as they get their check at the end of the week, it doesn't matter what's in that box there. They can turn a blind eye. They know. They're no better than the rest of them. <laughs> 
what was the uh, what was the story on this next one? Satellite images show heavy Nostra activity in Venice. Nostra, Nostra, uh. -huh. The bystander effect. One of my few triggers. <laughs> I'm the best friend. I mean, you have to be my best friend, Mr. Noodle, because I mean, you know. And if I call anybody else, Mr. Noodle doesn't understand that it's possible to have more than one best friend. So if I call anybody else my best friend, she gets very offended. But uh, you're all my best friends, all of you. But uh, Mr. Noodle has to be the best friend. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Satellite images show heavy, whatever activity, comb the canal, disrupt communications, and track all cargo ships. I think we can do that. Destroy satellite trucks, place trackers on cargo ships, activate all satcoms, minimize civilian casualties. I still have no idea how the hell we were supposed to collect the satcoms in the other one, that last level. Some of them were like flying up in the air. I don't think there's a, a random jump button or something like that. I mean, I guess I could have missed it, but I don't know. You're the smart, handsome friend. Very true. Very true. Mr. Noodle, he always talks so bad about me. John, why are you talking so bad about Mr. Noodle, man? Y'all just need to get along. <laughs> I definitely am the weirdo friend of the group. I mean, we're all a little bit weird, Rue, so don't feel too bad. <laughs> oh, Mr. Noodle, I, if you didn't notice, since you asked what the bit boss was before, you're at the top of the screen. I mean, you don't have a profile picture, so it's just a blank one with your name. But there you go. See, you are you are branded on the stream now. Mr. Noodle0519 with your 775 HP. You did it, love. <laughs> I'm proud to be weird. Who wants to be normal? I've told Mr. Noodle that so many times. What happened? Why am I like sliding to the side here? Oh no, we're already 50% dead. This is not going well. Is he putting mines on the ground? What the hell? Uh, this is not going well. I think... <laughs> oh no. I think I think it's best we just go ahead and restart. <laughs> oh, all the best people are mad. Yeah, I agree. Stream asked me why I'm weird all the time. I warned him before we got together. And what did I tell you, Mr. Noodle? Normal people are boring. I'm glad you're weird. It keeps things interesting. But <laughs> I do ask her why she's weird sometimes, though. So. <laughs> all the best people are crazy, right? I think is the Melanie Martinez thing. <laughs> I think. But uh, you're you're the the real fan here of Melanie Martinez. You tell us, love. So I'm guessing these guys aren't civilians since they're they're shooting at us. The ones marked in red maybe are okay to to murder. Oh. Okay. Well, this one's throwing down missiles or not missiles, but but bombs on the track. So I think we can probably kill that one safely as well. Oh, wait, there's a truck. Oh, no, those things are firing missiles at us, too. What the hell? I know I'm going the wrong way. Calm down. I gotta, I gotta shoot this fool. It's so bumpy. All right, we got it. We got one. <laughs> yes, and you love Melanie Martinez? I had no idea you were a Melanie fan. She is pretty. She is pretty good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue with you there. I'm not usually a huge uh, uh, female vocalist person, but as far as they go, Melanie Martinez is in the the, the group of, of of good ones there. Man, this level suddenly is a lot harder. We are taking a crap ton of damage. Why don't you never want to listen? We listen to her all the time in the car, Mister Noodle. I don't know what you're talking about. Now, whenever we're like on long road trips and you just want to play her one album for hours, <laughs> I might ask if we can listen to something else. And don't we have a couple of her vinyls that we've listened to multiple times too? I actually don't know what you're talking about. Tracker objective failed. This is uh, this is going well. This is this is going really well. I think we might die. <laughs> do we have like oil that we can do? Oh, there's a weapons boat, too. Very cool. I only know that one song where the family is in a dollhouse and they're not all perfect and the dad was like a cheater, the mom was a drinker, and the son was a smoker. Yeah, dollhouse is your favorite song. Her music videos are interesting. 
Talk about weird, though. I mean, <laughs> those are definitely right up there in the uh, the weird category for sure. But uh, I, I want to switch weapons, please. How do we switch weapons? Oh no. Oh, what the hell? We just. Uh, I'm so confused. How did we drop into the underground? That was random as hell. I'm convinced that Melanie Martinez is secretly a little. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just convinced that that's what she is. Ha. That's what you get. Okay. Suddenly water again. Oh no, don't blow it up. We were supposed to tag it. Crap. <laughs> Mission failed. Yeah, good job. We uh, we did it. <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger boat. I know it's one of your favorites. That's why you never want to listen. Or, uh, the voice and type of music. Yeah, she's pretty decent as far as female vocalists go. I like her. What's the actual name of that song? I thought it was something else, but honestly, like her videos because of the uniqueness. I also like her doll style. Yeah. And that's part of the reason why I think she's secretly a little dressing up. Not only like very doll-like sometimes, but she does like all the frilly little skirts and socks and and uh, shoes and all that stuff. And she, she also, a lot of her music videos are centered around being very young as well, which makes me think that she's secretly a little. <laughs> Not joking, when you say you listen to all music, you can put on about any other type vibe with it or just being given it a chance. I like pretty much everything too, to be honest. I, I can't get into country music, personally. My favorite kind of music is definitely like rock, metal, um, kind of that sort of thing. Although I do like some unique rap, like not, I, I do like a lot of traditional rap as well, don't get me wrong, but I really like a lot of like, uh, Hobo Johnson, George Watsky, um, if you want to call 21 Pilots rap, I mean, they have some songs that are kind of rappy, but not really, you know, stuff like that. It's called Dollhouse, all the videos from the album go together. Yeah, she makes like one big movie out of her albums. Yeah. Lolita style? I don't know if it's quite the same as Lolita, but yeah, essentially, something like that. I I'm no expert on the subject, so... <laughs> You hate country music so much, Rue. Same. I mean, there's, like you said, there's one or two songs that I can make an exception for. Things that I heard when I was younger that maybe were okay or whatever, but I, I just, I can't get into it at all. Rap, I grew up with rap, and there are still some I like, like I said. Um, I, I, I can't get into, like, mumble rap and whatnot, but I, I still like uh, Eminem. There's a couple Kendrick Lamar songs that I really like. Uh, um, oh, crap, what's his name? Uh, Joiner Lucas, he has a, a fair few good songs, but a lot of Lolita there, but she sometimes dresses as a literal baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, essentially. <laughs> Rock and lyrical raps are your go-tos. That's essentially where I'm at as well. Although I really like a lot of uh, uh, electronic music as well. Like, I mean, dubstep was huge whenever I was a teenager, so I listen to a fair bit of dub dubstep still to this day, but. Uh, there's a fair bit of electronic music in general that I like. 50 Cent's Into Club is as far as you go. <laughs> I mean, that was a pretty decent song, though, you know? Man, I swear some rappers on YouTube doing anime rap, they're ridiculously talented with lyrics. That's true as, too, as well, yeah, yeah. And that's what I was saying, like, I like a lot of the more unique, less traditional rap. I do still like some classic, you know, just normal rap and, and, and some modern rap artists and whatnot. But I like the people that are doing a, a little something different with it more. Most of you remember that song is that everyone would send that ringtone on someone's birthday. I remember when ringtones were a thing. Like, uh, like downloading ringtones and sending them to people. And, and uh, you would, you would, before smartphones, you would text those services to get... Uh, ringtone sent to you you would pay like so much 99 cents or whatever and then they would actually send you a, a ringtone file for your phone or you could even change the sound for when people called you 
So instead of ringing, they would hear like a song playing or whatever. And it was super low quality, but like, <laughs> but it was something you could do. I remember that as well. It makes me feel old thinking about that though, man. <laughs> ah, we need to figure out what the boost button is. Oh, we could have drove through that. Oop, well, too late now. Uh, our driving skills are on point right now, man. Let me tell you. Okay, I'm glad that was a big civilian ship so we didn't just wreck it whenever we ran into it there. Was there a, a thing back there for us to kill? I feel like there was. Yeah, over there. How the hell? I know I'm going the wrong way. Hush. It's like hiding behind the edge there. Do we have to... I guess we have to go up all the way back here. Uh... Go this way, please. No, how do we get up there? I know I'm fairly blind, but there's no ramp over here, is there? What the hell? Uh... Maybe we come through there later or something. Uh -huh. Whatever, we got it. That's all that matters. We're not dead somehow. Ah, to be in the early 2000s again? I wish, man. That would be amazing. I mean, I didn't care for school too much. I was never, uh, I wasn't very good in like, uh, school. <laughs> but, crap. We're definitely not getting the SATCOM stuff. But, um, just to be young, carefree, and, and you know, just playing video games all day and whatnot would be great used phone zoo every day all day i don't remember the name of the services that i used but yeah yep i wasn't as into it as a lot of people were but i definitely spent a bit of money on a few of those stupid things <laughs> yep, we got one sack on that's uh that's good enough right I definitely like the actual driving part better than the 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 water part, just as far as like the handling goes in the vehicle. It's not bad either way, but I do think it uh, feels a bit better on the uh, on the actual road. What did we just get stuck on? You've got more in electronic music like Caravan Palace. I don't think I've ever heard Caravan Palace. I'll have to give that a listen at some point. Is that a band or a genre? Because there's a lot of uh, um, electronic genres that are <laughs> that have some really weird names. <laughs> Gosh, you even remember the commercial that had Little Tiger Boo, Gummy Bear, and Anna Blue advertising as ringtones? I don't remember any of those, but... um. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've never been a huge TV watcher, and I've always hated ads, so I I probably missed those somehow, but... Area cleared. Hey, we did everything but the SATCOMs again. That's much better. I'm having a fair bit of fun with this game, I'm not gonna lie. He hates commercials. Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> Hate them with a passion, man. I throw a tantrum. A little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna deny it. I do throw a little bit of a tantrum whenever I'm forced to sit through. Like, for YouTube and Twitch and stuff like that, when it's just, like, a minute every video or every half hour or something, I don't enjoy it, but it's not the end of the world, right? But, like, TV shows, regular TV shows on cable is what kill me. Because you're sitting there, and you watch, I don't know, five minutes of a TV show, and then they'll have like three minutes of freaking commercials. You end up watching almost as many commercials as you do TV shows. And it annoys the crap out of me, man. It's, oh, kills me. And I know that's terrible as somebody that uh, is doing Twitch and runs advertising. To, <laughs> but <laughs> but it, still, still, it kills me. And if I didn't have to run ads, I wouldn't. But it's the only way to turn off the pre-roll ads is to, to, to run them. And, uh, yeah, so kind of stuck there. I mean, they're getting longer and shows shorter. E exactly, exactly. 
Like even YouTube, they used to show like one pre-roll ad or whatever. Nowadays, there will be multiple pre-roll ads and then creators can put multiple in throughout the, the length of their video and stuff like that. Like it's just, man, it's crazy. I, I have YouTube Red, so I don't have to deal with it 90% of the time, but I guess it's not called YouTube Red anymore, is it? It's just YouTube Premium now or whatever. Ban my buddy you told you about, the sub drawing room, but you can't recall. I have to try to remember to look them up. If you, uh, if I don't remember to, you can remind me to at some point there, Nate, because, yeah. But some of them are so funny, the ads. I mean, I guess. Like, but I don't know. Are they, though? <laughs> like, Puppy, Mon Puppy Monkey Baby is the only one that really comes to my mind. And that's not really even so much funny in my mind. It's just so ridiculous and dumb that it that it sticks out to me. Oh, and then the Old Spice commercials. I, I, I remember those ones a fair bit. The Geico ones? See, I don't really remember the Geico ones. I don't know if it's because I didn't really find them all that funny, or if they'll just, uh... Or if they just, I don't know. Oh, they don't really stick out to me, I guess. Pothole will always be a fave. Oh, Lord, I remember you talking about that one. I'm pretty sure you showed it to me, but I've forgotten it already. <laughs> What's our primary objective? So to continue on, we have to, at the very least, destroy combine control towers, seven of them. And then we can also activate all SATCOMs, of course. We're probably not gonna get that one because we never do. Place tra trackers on transport trucks. Okay, we can try that. And minimize civilian casualties, of course, yeah. Always do that. Oh man. I'm feeling a little bit better now. I'm a little bit more awake after streaming and talking and everything. But I'll tell you, I can't I can't wait to get some sleep tonight. <laughs> I am excited for sleep, man. Just so exhausted. Can't wait for my vacation. That's gonna be great. You only know the one where the kids had their pool upstairs in the room and they're getting everything wet. My only thought was if I did that as a kid, I would be six feet under this commercial. <laughs> was a terrible idea. Yeah, yeah, honestly. My parents would have killed me. What my dad really liked was a glass or contacts commercial, you think? And it was this lady calling for a cat or dog and she called a raccoon an interest and in an entiste. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think you had a bit of a typo there. But, like, I don't remember that one at all. I, I don't know if I've ever seen that one, to be System honest. Instead. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so I think the, the people and vehicles in red are safe to to kill. I, I think. Uh, You look like a bad guy. See, like, that right there. How do we... That really killed our health running into them barrels. There had to have been, like, some sort of ramp there or something that I missed, right? Like, there's got to be something. Okay. We, uh, we got a little screwed up there. I guess we're going in the swamp. Why not? Ah, oh, the Budweiser frogs? Yeah, I remember, I remember that one. And only because you showed it to me once or twice. I don't think I've ever just seen it, like, naturally, but I do remember you showing me that one. Oh, good. We need the weapons van. We are dang near dead. If you can stop shooting missiles back at me, that would be great, guys. It makes it really hard to see, like, anything. Uh, there's something that we're supposed to be blowing up here. Do we, do we shoot those parts? No, I think we're supposed to shoot this part. The base. How do we... Missile inventory low. I get that, but how do we shoot up there? Can we aim? There doesn't appear to be an aiming mechanic. The arrows aren't doing anything. Select. Oh, that changes the camera. I would hate to play this game in first person view. <laughs> what am I missing? How do we blow it up? He would laugh so hard and he really liked the Budweiser frogs. No, I think one of your YouTubers was talking about it recently. Were they? Matt Pat? I don't know. I don't remember, honestly. 
I'm not saying you're wrong. I just, I do not remember. Is there like a ramp or something that will let us aim up in the air? Because I don't think there's any way. Yeah, the missiles aren't doing anything. Oh! How did we do that? How do we... What? <laughs> Somehow we locked onto it up top there, but then it uh it unlocked. I don't know how we did that. I have no idea how we did that. We're going to have to restart, I guess. Map has been really distracted with FNAF to be worried about that. Yeah, he really has been. So many videos on FNAF. And honestly, like, I don't care for the older games all that much. They're okay, don't get me wrong. But I don't think they're great as games, but the lore of that series I am in love with, and it's all thanks to MatBat. Like, <laughs> you don't think it was him, Ru? I honestly don't remember uh, the video she's referring to at all. I'm sure one of my YouTubers probably did, because I watch a crap ton of them, but I, I don't remember who it was or, or anything. Uh, we'll go this way this time. Why not? Oh! Is that is that the one that we missed last time? So maybe we just have to go down the right path. Holy crap, Mr. Noodle. I don't know how many bits that is, but thank you so much, love. 30 bits. Holy crap. You're overflowing my little cup down there in the corner. <laughs> thank you so much, Mr. Noodle. Ah, there was another one there that we could have gotten. So it seems like for the sat nav stuff, you just kind of have to play through the level a couple times to uh, to kind of learn the, the layout of the level and which way you need to go and whatnot. Kind of like uh, the Tony Hawk games, right? Another series that I would love to play at some point. I'm not particularly good at them or anything like that, but I love playing the Tony Hawk games. And... Uh, yeah, in those games, of course, you have to kind of... Okay, so we swap to missiles, and then somehow, some way, we can... There we go. All right, excellent. We got it. I, I still don't quite know how we got locked onto it up there, but we did. That's all that matters. Um, geez, if I can finish my thought here that I've been trying to get out... The, yeah, the Tony Hawk games, you uh, you have to kind of go through the level a couple times a lot of times because you'll have to collect like all the skate letters or whatever, right? And uh, that's kind of what this is making me think of. How do we aim up? Uh, okay, that's not what I want to be aiming at, actually, the helicopter. I'm trying to aim at the big thing right there, the, the giant objective. Maybe if we, maybe we're too close. We'll, we'll turn around a bit. I know it's the wrong way, game. I know. There you go. Shortly, that's far enough, right? Aim up, please. Thank you. All right. <laughs> this is a little bit annoying, but that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna be okay. Yes, go noodle. <laughs> I think he was talking about how memorable commercials are and how they're getting weird. Oh, he did make an episode on commercials. I don't remember if that one specifically was in it or not, but um, he did do that. You are right. That was a thing that he did. Okay, we are getting our asses kicked here. We need to kill a couple of these guys before we shoot those ships, apparently. I see steak. I don't know who is making steak, but uh, I am very upset with you because I do not have steak. Shoot up, please. We're going to die. How do we aim up? I need to aim up, please. Ah, why? I'm gonna have to freaking Google how to aim up. <laughs> like, I know we're going the wrong way, game. Shut up. I want to kill that dude, please. That one, the dude that's shooting us. Okay, I take back everything I've said about this game. It's trash and I hate it. <laughs> Nate's making steaks. Hell yeah, man. We're going to come to your house. <laughs> we haven't had snake in a snake. We haven't eaten snake in a while, Mr. Noodle. We should get some snake soon. <laughs> steak. We should get some steak soon. Ah. Texas Roadhouse, a steakhouse does sound nice. 
I'm just steak in general though. I don't care if I have to make it myself, go to a steakhouse or whatever. I just, steak sounds amazing right now. No kidding. Still want a snack wrap though. He didn't get you one, geez. No, he hates me. Love, <laughs> you know as well as I do, we have zero dollars for snack wraps at the moment. I promise I will get you some snack wraps soon. But uh, maybe let's wait till payday or something. <laughs> yeah, Nate, way to make us all hungry, man. Now, I actually, I had a bit of a stomach ache before I started to stream. It's uh, it's going away, thankfully. My my stomach doesn't really hurt too much, but um, I'm still just feeling all congested and kind of tired and worn down. But, ugh. By the way, any other games in the stream today? Not today. I generally do, Rue, um... So I was doing two games on like the Sunday and uh, anytime I do do Wednesday streams, but I stopped doing that because I want to get through whatever game I'm finishing a little bit quicker. So that's why I just did four hours straight of Lord of the Rings the other day um, on Sunday. And then on the nights that I can stream, I can only stream usually for between roughly about an hour and a half, two hours maybe. So I just do the, the one PS2 game so I can get a, a good feel for it, whether I like it or not. Um, and while we're just all sitting here BSing, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those pesky pre-roll ads that we all hate so much. But I'm just going to sit around and BS with you guys while we do that. Turn on that ad break. Just gave me 200 bits this month. That's snack wrap money right there. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a snack wrap costs more than 200 bits. But uh, <laughs> but I will get you one. I, I promise, love. Uh, not tonight, but soon. Fair enough. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I wish I had time to play more games <laughs> on stream. I just, I don't with the full-time job and whatnot. I would love... The dream, honestly, is to complete every PlayStation 2 game and uh, preferably to do so on stream. That would be the dream, but there's no way I have enough time. I'm already looking at a, you know, multiple year project here with just trying them all out. Um, if I if I was able to do like full time streaming or whatever, then I would probably try to do that. But I can't. And that's OK. You know, I'm having fun just hanging out with y'all. That's good enough for me. Making it with in butter and olive oil that put roasted garlic Montreal steak seasoning in it, then spiced steak. <laughs> Very cool, man. I am usually pretty chill with my steak, to be honest. Most of the time, I just do salt and pepper and then fry it in butter and add some oil at the end. If I'm feeling fancy, I might put some herbs in the butter, uh, maybe a little bit of garlic right at the end. Um, one of the ways that I found that I like to make it whenever I'm feeling lazy, as long as it's not a super thick cut of steak, is just put a dry it off, put a little bit of oil on it, cover it in salt, put some pepper on it, a little bit of MSG. I forgot to mention MSG goes on everything. It's good. Um, and then you stick it right under the grill or the, the broiler, I guess we call it here in America, huh? And in, in the oven, as close to it as you can get, cranked all the way to the max. And then, yeah, as soon as it browns and gets a nice crispy um, Maillard reaction on it, you flip it over, do the other side. And then by the time both sides are done, it's pretty much, honestly, most of the time it's a medium. I prefer a medium rare as well, Rue. But Doing it that way, it usually comes out a little bit more medium, but that's really going to depend on the thickness of your steak, of course. Um, a thicker steak is going to be more rare cooked that way. The reason you ask because you might head out soon yourself. You ended up pulling in two pallets of flooring at HFH and you are tired. Hey, that's fair, Rue. I just appreciate you coming in and saying hello. However much time you can spend, that is fine, man. <clears throat> All right. Our ad break is running up or running out now. I think it's time for us to get back into it. You just like yours, super juicy. That's a fair. I grew up in kind of a split household, right? When I was young, young, my mom, I mean, not so much. I think my mom's a little more okay with it being medium, medium rare, but her husband hates 
medium rare steak and stuff like that. He doesn't want any pink in it at all. He wants everything to be well done, essentially. But, like, I also grew up with my grandpa, though. That's who raised me during my more, like, once I got closer to being a teenager and into early adulthood. And he was the type of person that it, he wanted it as rare as you could possibly make it, right? Essentially, you would just get the pan ripping hot, sit it down on there for like 20 seconds, flip it over for like 20 seconds, just enough to get the middle warm. And that's all the more he wanted his done, which is, so I kind of ended up in the middle, right? <laughs> Anywhere from rare to medium, I'm okay with, but I prefer a nice medium rare. Um, but funny story about that. So his kids, my, my ex-stepdad's kids, they like their steaks well done, or at least one of them does. And uh, I would always make mine rare to medium rare. And so we were eating steaks and we both had them the way we like or whatever. And then when I was done eating mine, there was all the juice on the plate left over. And he was like, I don't know how you can eat that. That's disgusting. All that blood there. I know it's not blood, but it looks like it, whatever. That's what he called it. He's like, all that blood on that plate and everything that's disgusting. I was like, oh, you you, you think that's disgusting? All that, that juice on the plate. That's some good stuff right there, man. He said, no, that's disgusting. I don't know how you can eat that. It just makes me want to gag. And I said, oh, okay. And then I just slowly took the plate raised it up into the air, put my lips on the edge of the plate, and then just drank all the juice off the plate. <laughs> he started gagging, man. It was hilarious, but delicious as well. <laughs> so good. So good. And yeah, Mr. Noodles family, God bless their souls. They, uh, <laughs> they overcook all of their food. <laughs> well, I don't know about all of it. Like some of the stuff, like the potatoes and whatnot are fine, but meat wise, yeah. And uh, boiled meat was a is a thing in her family as well that I, my family, I never had to deal with boiled meat other than rabbit and squirrel, like little game like that, because we were hunters growing up too. So little game like that, we would boil, but uh, any other meat, it was it was either like in the oven, shake and bake or, or over the fire fit. Boiled, yeah, yeah, gross, right? Man, heck that dude, the juice is the best part. Yes, <laughs> it really is though. And I think it makes the best sauce for for steak too because as the juice runs out it collects a bunch of the salt and the flavors and whatever you put on the meat and then the juice itself is just very flavorful so you take a nice piece of steak and then you just kind of run it through the sauce right like pick up as much of the well, i call it sauce but the juice as you can with it and it's so good it was cooked in broth yeah that's how you make broth love <laughs> that's not how you're supposed to actually cook the meat to eat that's just how you make the broth. And then you throw away the meat or put it in like a, a chicken salad or something. <laughs> oh, Lord. All right, let's get back into the game. Swamp Venom. No Nostra is using the swamps as a toxic dump. Shut down all operations and track all Nostra transport trucks. Destro oh, wait, this is the same one we've been doing. That's right. We failed because we died. Activate new missile targeting by pushing in the L3 button. How did I miss that tip? A couple times I must have missed that tip. At least we know how to do it now. Missile targeting L3. Okay. Got it. Memorized it. Got it memorized. Sorry, Kingdom Hearts. Can't help it. Axel. One of the best characters. Hmm, what an interesting card game we see. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, about that. Yeah. For What do you mean? It's it's there. You can see it. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. We literally just got into the level. <laughs> but thank you for pointing that out. Because I probably would have played through like half of the level without it going. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. So we can, we can turn on our missiles. And then we can target like that excellent oh okay well we still gotta not like run into people and die though which is uh asking a lot out of me honestly ah oh, we were supposed to go to the left to get the satcom stuff trash you wouldn't have even noticed you're putting away all your christmas shirts how many shirts did you end up getting for christmas love she got me like three Knights nice ones. One's a uh, Scooby-Doo, which is amazing, of course. Uh, Kingdom Hearts one, again, amazing. Love me some Kingdom Hearts. And then, didn't you give me another one? Was the Zelda one a Christmas present? Like a classic Zelda? 
uh, Triforce shirt. I want to say that was another Christmas one. All very cool. Oh, Christmas themed shirts, not shirts you got for Christmas. Okay. And yes, Zelda was the other one. I thought so. My memory's very poor. I'm sure I've said that multiple times, but, uh, you know, I'm never going to remember it, so. <laughs> <laughs> did did we actually get that one destroyed? No, we didn't. Ah, I know it's the wrong way. I need to shoot the thing, though. Okay, I think we got to go back around. Did you not? I know I didn't buy you any shirts this year, but I'm surprised your mom or nobody bought you any. There we go. Man, it's so much easier now that we know what the hell we're doing. You sent me a mushroom shirt you really liked. I mean... Yeah? Did you? <laughs> she got you a Grinch shirt to wear for Christmas. Oh. Maybe that's what I'm getting confused by then. Don't remember, love. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. It is so much easier now that we know what the hell we're doing. Look at that. Just like... Uh, we don't even gotta slow down. We can just... We can just go right into it, man. Easy. Okay, so that was the main objective. We got that one done. So now we just gotta, I think we just gotta make it to the end, basically. Also, laser beams sound bad. Uh, we're on a ship. These courses are pretty cool. I feel like it could be a little more colorful, a little more vibrant. It looks a little, uh, they look a little, you know, brown and muddy. But I guess that's kind of par for the course for a lot of PS2 games. So, you know, is what it is. But, oh, okay. Does going through those lasers turn all these things on? Is that what happened? I'm guessing we probably shouldn't touch them. That would, that would end poorly, I'm sure. Oh, tag it. Tag it. Ow. Yeah. Critical damage. Got it. I'm just going to keep running into other things with this critical damage that we've taken. It seems like it has a bit of a trouble whenever you transition too quickly between stuff. <laughs> okay. Well, we're in the water again. Ever have ranch on steak? I have tried it, but I prefer it without. I it, it, Like, it's fine. It doesn't offend me or anything. But I definitely prefer... Just regular, just steak on its own, basically. Maybe steak with like a nice um, gravy or something. Preferably made with the the juice from the steak. You didn't get any clothes this year either, Rue. I got what a couple pairs of pants, a couple hoodies, a few shirts, some socks, a, a little bit of a, all the clothes really, except for the one thing that I actually need, which is just like regular pants. <laughs> like like sweatpants, track pants, just regular pants like that, not jeans. That's the one thing I didn't get. And that's kind of what I uh, need the most. Oh, we ended up agreeing on that for your birthday with the Jurassic Park bag and wallet. Okay, okay. Uh, da -da -da, what else did I miss? Ranch on steak, yep. I, I love ranch too. I'm a huge ranch person. <laughs> Oh, I bet the ranch powder would be good on steak. Oh yeah, we do have we have like this ranch seasoning that we bought, and it doesn't really taste like that, that ranchy to be honest. It's mostly like kind of a little bit garlicky, a little bit oniony, um, with some uh, just a little bit of freshness to it. But I bet that would be really good on steak. Sisters of Stone, your first thought was a mushroom like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, like one of those old uh, psychedelic. Um, whatchamacallit posters, the, uh, black light posters. I used to have a bunch of, like, my, my room used to be tiny, and I love that room. I miss it so much. I, I felt comfortable in it in small spaces. I am the opposite, I guess, of, uh, somebody who, what's it called? Whenever you, uh, uh, whenever you get scared in tight spaces, small spaces, whatever it is, I guess, uh, I'm kind of the opposite of that. Um, Anyways, I missed that room, and I had a, a couple black lights and some... I don't think I actually had any black light posters, but black light chalk and all kinds of stuff in there. Fun times. 
You return the hoodie to get the pants. Yes, I am. Not the hoodie. I have so many. This woman gets me not her claustrophobia. Yeah, I'm the opposite of claustrophobic, I guess. Um, the, her mom, Mr. Noodle's mom, gets us hoodies every single year. And I grew up where you wear clothes until those clothes are basically destroyed. Um, so, like, I have 20 hoodies, man. I don't need any more hoodies. <laughs> You like kielbasa? Kielbasa's okay. It's not my favorite, but like, so like I don't buy it for myself, but if I'm going somewhere and they're serving it, I'll eat a few slices of it or whatever. And yes, Mr. Noodle, as you already figured out, <laughs> they do support links. Um, I'm pretty sure I have them turned off for normal people, but it's okay for mods. And since you're a mod, then yeah, you get to post them. Kielbasa. Yeah, Mr. Noodle's not a big fan of kielbasa. <laughs> She doesn't like really any kind of sausage for the most part, besides like pepperoni and uh, salami. And then she actually ate a little bit of summer sausage the other day and figured out that that's not the worst thing in the world. Oh yeah, I remember the shirt now, love. I remember it. Not the type of stoner mushroom psychedelic thing I was thinking of, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I remember. It, it's it's cute in a creepy kind of way. It's that kind of mushroom thing. It's bouncy. You talking about the kielbasa being bouncy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a it's a dark, creepy kind of cuteness to it. Honestly, your room is way too small for you. You could use more space. I want to get a tiny home someday. It would never work for me and Mr. Noodle, but i uh, that's like my dream is to have a tiny home. It would be a bit more of an issue now with the game collection that I've started to build up, but um, still, <laughs> I would love it. I have a couple posters that were hand painted for me by a good friend of mine. She painted me uh, uh, two posters, one that's Mario Luigi themed and one that's Kingdom Hearts themed. So those are the only things I actually have on my wall. And then I have, you know, the TV, the game stuff, my computer. I had a separate room for my computer and stuff, but uh, Mr. Noodle over here had a problem with me being out of the room all the time. So <laughs> I was like, you know what? Fine, I'll just move my computer into the room. Plus, like that is the main reason why I did it. But I will also say it's nice in the summer because we have an air conditioner in the bedroom and, uh, you know, not boiling with a, a basically a space heater of a computer running right next to me is really nice. <laughs> you just hate that stuff personally? That's fair. All the psychedelic stuff. Yeah, I, I don't really do it anymore, obviously, but I grew up with with that stuff in my my sister was more of the psychedelic poster stuff. I was the 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 black light. Uh, a stoner kid, but <laughs> I don't do that anymore either, though, so. You add some buffalo powder and mix it with water and cook them in that? What the heck? That actually does sound pretty good. I'll have to try that sometime. I, I don't have any buffalo powder anymore. I used to have some red hot buffalo or red hot hot sauce powder. That stuff was good. But uh, maybe, like, make up some buffalo sauce and kind of, like, uh, braise it with that or something. I love vegetables, all kinds. I, I don't think I've ever had a vegetable I didn't like. Um, there's been a couple that, when cooked poorly, I didn't like so much, but I, I, I really like vegetables, though. Destroy stolen G6155 Interceptor. Okay. Activate all SATCOMs. We can do that. Destroy all communication towers. Cool, cool. Minimize civilian casualties. Okay, so the main thing is we just got to destroy that Interceptor. Mr. Noodle, I like to be close. Yes, she does, and that's okay. Couldn't live without AC. Same. It. I mean, it's not all that cold. <laughs> it's not nearly as cold as it's supposed to be for where we're at this time of year. But um, I, I still have my air conditioner hooked up and I turn it down to 61 degrees every night because I, I can't sleep in the heat. I, I need to be cold. Plus, Mr. Noodle can attest to this. I Not as bad as I used to be, but I'm a bit of a space heater, a human space heater. So, uh... <laughs> Asparagus and Brussels sprouts. I've never tried asparagus, but roasted Brussels sprouts are pretty good, in my opinion. Mr. Noodle thought she was going to hate them, but I made her try them, and uh, she ended up eating more of them than I did. 
<laughs> the only reason I didn't finish them is because um, I my blood pressure isn't amazing. It's not like at a dangerous level or anything, but it's not it's not at a, a great level either. And um, I've read that Brussels sprouts can have a negative effect on your your blood pressure. So I didn't end up eating too many of them. I ate probably half, maybe three quarters of what I made. But Mr. Noodle ate all of them that, uh, that all of her serving of them, at least. So, like, obviously she didn't think they were that bad. Which is surprising, because Mr. Noodle is not a big, um, Brussels, or not a big, uh, vegetable person, generally speaking. So, the... G6155 Interceptor, whatever, that's basically our, our car, like, we're just, are we trying to kill another spy? That's what it feels like. Oh, we can't actually hit that, there's a mountain there. Missile inventory low, that's no good. I guess we're, uh, we're overdoing it a little bit here. I don't think we're going to, uh, I don't think we're going to get the side objectives on this one. Uh, we'll try to get the main objective still, of course, but, but I'm a little worried about the main objective, not gonna lie. It's not looking good for us. <laughs> uh, I don't know where the civilians are. I'm pretty sure we missed one of the, oh, okay, well, our car just clipped into the ground. We broke physics with our terrible driving. Thankfully, it seems like running into stuff doesn't really do much damage to our car. It's mostly just the whole, you know, being shot thing that uh, that really hurts us. <laughs> oh, there's some there's some big messages here that I didn't see. He's a grizzly bear. Yeah, basically. <laughs> it's at the store. It's like a dollar for a pack of the powder for wings. Oh, okay. We had a craving for spicy kielbasa. Like I said, I'll have to try it. It sounds good. But I've never I've never even thought to try it before. Oh! That's what those do. They don't actually hurt us. They disable our weapons. Okay. You didn't like them? I it's not that I didn't like them. They were fine. They weren't my favorite, but they're they're Pretty, they're pretty decent though too like my favorite is always going to be you know green beans cooked with uh some pork chunks or or bacon or whatever and uh some potatoes and onions throw down in there like that's probably always going to be my favorite vegetable but i the brussels sprouts were good though my grandma won't let it go past 70 and you need the cold to sleep see we only turn the house up to like 68 most of the time Sometimes we'll turn it up a little bit higher if we're going to be getting a shower or something like that, and we want it to be a little bit warmer when we come out of the shower. But most of the time, we keep it between 61 and 68. Comfortably sleep in a cooler earlier? Honestly, I probably could as well. <laughs> it's one of the reasons why I'm excited to go camping in, uh, in the middle of winter, because I think it'll be nice, honestly. No, the kitty did. The kitties did. The kitties did what? Finish the, the the Brussels sprouts? Is that? Are you blaming the kitties for eating your Brussels sprouts? Gonna get a quick shower, love. That's fine. Go ahead, get a shower. Thank you for being here, love. The girl is the complete opposite, and also a heater herself. <laughs> She's like, why don't you cut her longer when you go to sleep? Cause you got the room at 90, and you put out the heat of 130. <laughs> yeah, I would die, man. I would just be nope, pouring sweat and just uh, gross sticky i i couldn't do it i couldn't do it there's no way you gotta <laughs> you gotta you gotta have the 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 room nice and cool for sleeping man it's a nice cool 61 is pretty much perfect for me although mr noodle likes sleeping with two blankets and when the room is able to stay at a consistent 61 that's not too bad unless i'm having a bad uh heat day where i'm putting off a bunch of heat or um whenever the the house is a little bit warmer than usual it's uh takes its toll the two blankets, I usually end up having to kick one of them off of me. <laughs>
I need to be a burrito, that ain't possible. Speaking of burritos though, that sounds amazing. I need to get some salsa or taco sauce or something so I can eat some burritos. I'm pretty sure, or no, I finished them during that 12 hour variety stream. That's what I had for lunch, I think actually. Well, I need to buy some burritos and then <laughs> some burritos and salsa and sour cream because burritos sound amazing. Burritos and tacos are two of my favorite foods. That's why you have a fan on your own blanket for when you get too hot and the windows get open once she crashes. I am just lazy is the only reason I don't do the window thing. It's obviously cold enough in our area. Like even now, which is an unseasonably warm winter, it's still cool enough outside that if I put a window fan in, it would more than cool the room down enough. I'm just too lazy to take my air conditioner out of the window to put the fan in. <laughs> Oh, same, yeah. Our air conditioner has a setting on it where uh, you can have it either running like the actual, like it'll only kick on once it gets above a certain temperature, or you can have it turned on to where it'll just run constantly, but it'll turn off the cooling part whenever the room gets to a certain temperature and then just run the fan to circulate the air. So I every night I turn it on that mode because same, I need I need noise to sleep as well. A fan is cheaper? Very much so. And I, I wish I wasn't quite so lazy, but I, uh, <laughs> but I am. Plus, like, storing the air conditioner and then getting it back out whenever it gets hot and everything, it's so much easier just to leave it in the window. We do have another window in our bedroom. I could put it in, but our TV is, like, three quarters of the way in front of it. And the last thing I want to do is, like, fall asleep with the window open and the fan on, and then it start to rain or something and ruin my TV and crap. I would probably cry. <laughs> Speaking of burritos, does Taco Bell have good ones? I'm still mad they got rid of the Mexican pizza, but I'm craving them. I don't like Taco Bell. <laughs> okay, D it, to context, I can eat Taco Bell, but I'm not a big fan of their food when you compare it to actual, just like made at home tacos or a real Mexican restaurant or whatever. Like, their, their burritos and tacos and everything are fine, but they're just fine. If you make a taco yourself or go to a Mexican restaurant, uh, American Mexican restaurant or whatever, their tacos just blow Taco Bell out of the water, man. Like it's, inc it's incredible. Um, so I just, I just, I almost never buy Taco Bell for that reason. Carne asada fries. I don't think I've ever tried carne asada fries. I, uh... The, the, what were they? They were like potatoes with sour cream and cheese. I forget what they're called. Loaded, loaded potato. Oh, I don't remember. But anyways, those were really good. I did like those. And I do actually enjoy their Crunchwrap Supremes. Those aren't too bad, but they're just a little too expensive for my blood. You haven't? You're missing out? You know. <laughs> I never eat there, so I never, I never, I never tried it. Carne asada fries for life. Look, the next time I go there, if they still sell them, because of course they keep getting rid of half their menu, I will try the carne asada fries. <laughs> You'll have to DM that to me at some point, Nate, because I, like I said, I love tacos. One of these days, maybe I'll head out there and give it a try. I know Mr. Noodle likes tacos too, although she can't have lettuce or anything on it because she despises lettuce. So, uh... <laughs> So hopefully they uh, let you remove the lettuce from them. How do we, do we ever figure out how to do the freaking boost? I, I don't think I did. It looks like I have the boost available, but I don't know how to freaking activate it. Did we get him? Nope. Your missile is low. Your missiles are low. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to get the, the three comms towers because uh, we're out of missiles. <laughs> and I don't know if there's a refill station in this level. I don't think there is. I went a little trigger happy trying to get rid of that other spy car. And, uh, well, it didn't It didn't work. <laughs> Okay, so there's the smoke screen. Oh, L2 changes that. Okay, that's fair enough. 
L or L1 changes our, our normal shots there. Very cool. Triangle just brings down our rear view mirror. Square is break. L3 is that. Yeah, I don't. Oh no, do not go into first person mode. I don't think there's a way to. There's gotta be a way to activate the boost, because it looks like we have one. Oh geez, we just like completely flipped around. What the heck? Oh, we're in the water. Okay, that's one way to get down here, I guess. Honestly, living in Colorado, you have a surplus of Mexican restaurants. We have like one big one near us, like really close to us. And then uh, where we live, we're, we're pretty close to a few different cities. So each of those cities have a couple of them. But uh, yeah, Nate, you sent it to me. Cool, cool. I'll check that out later. You missed the half pound cheesy burrito. Yeah, Mr. Noodle was a huge fan of that particular um, sandwich. And well, sadly it is, or not sandwich, but that particular item. And uh, sadly that's gone. So I think we're screwed. I don't think we're gonna, I don't think we're gonna get it again. Oh wait, we did. We got it. Holy crap. Okay, <laughs> I did not think we were going to get it. All right, so now we just got to live till the end. We didn't get all the side objectives, but at least we'll beat this level. And uh holy crap, it's been an hour and an hour and 40 minutes. I did not realize how late it was getting. Okay. So let's uh let's try to survive. We did. Cool. We actually got two of the objectives because we didn't kill too many civilians. So, all right, I think we're going to have to wrap it up. I'm going to uh, sit and chill and talk to you all for a little bit. But yeah, it's getting pretty late. So I think that's it for the actual gaming tonight. That game was fun. I'm not going to lie. I would totally play more of that game. It's, it's a game I think I need to focus on a little bit more or just I'm going to keep getting my ass kicked. But uh, <laughs> it's a fun time, though. Miss that pound cheese burrito. Oh, Taco Bell don't got any carne asada fries. You have to go to like an actual taco catering thing. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll look up a recipe and make it myself or something. I do enjoy cooking, so maybe I'll just try that one of these days. The onion and cilantro from what they were saying, and they have a bunch of meat options, including the shaved meat off that roasting thing. That is amazing. I love those uh, where they pile all of the meat up on it and then they just take the knife and it just falls off like butter. Amazing. The best carne asada fries you can get are soft fries with steak, guacamole, and sour cream mixed together and melted cheese on top for reference. What? That does sound really good. <laughs> it's some places let you get green chili, but you go without. I like spicy food and chilies and stuff, so I would probably get them. Mr. Noodle, on the other hand, probably would do the same. She likes all of that stuff besides the tomatoes and guacamole. She likes avocado, but she doesn't like uh, tomatoes, so... She would probably get steak, sour cream, cheese, and uh, whatever seasonings they put on it. And then if they have just avocado, she would probably get a little bit of that on there, but that does sound really good. I'll have to look up a recipe, like I said, and I'll probably just make it myself. Because that sounds fantastic, to be honest. Oh. Okay, well, we did beat the main objective, but we need 18 to get to this next level. So I, I guess we didn't actually make it to the next level. Oh, there's only 57 levels in the in the game, though. So that's, uh, or not 57 levels, but there's 14 levels. So that's not that bad, honestly. We just got to get a couple more of the objectives. That makes it a little bit even more like the Tony Hawk games then, because they use the same kind of system where you have to uh, get so many points in each level to unlock the next set of levels or whatever and yeah very cool i do wonder what the multiplayer stuff would be like one of these days whenever i uh, get together with the dorseman or and nate and i have talked about trying to hang out one of these days we'll have to uh give it a try see what the multiplayer mode's like but all right Man, I am beat though. I think that's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. Nate, your kids got spoiled by family, man. You had my sister's Christmas thing today. That's awesome though, you know? There's nothing better than being a kid and just 
you know, you're only going to be a kid once, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So it's nice to be to be spoiled and be able to really enjoy the holidays and just, you know, let go for a little while, man. Just have fun. And then as a parent, I can imagine it's really nice seeing your kids, you know, all happy playing with all of their shiny new toys and so excited and everything like that. I, I, I imagine that has to be an amazing feeling. One of the uh, few things about having a child that I, I <laughs> that makes me want to have a child. I mean, oh, <laughs> uh, you know, right. They are delicious. But you think you're going to head out? You're hecking tired and think we all need to get some sleep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm signing off myself. You have a wonderful night, Rue. And uh, thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it a lot. It's great. They got him like all the Paw Patrol stuff. You're setting stuff up now. That's amazing, man. Really, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for your kids. Half of Stream's niece and nephew's already done for next year. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Noodle's pretty good at getting presents early for people. That's uh, That's her thing. Couponing and getting presents early and doing all that stuff. So... Night, Rue. Thank you again for being here, and I hope I see you... What is today? I forget what day it is. <laughs> Saturday night, I'll be streaming, and then Sunday, I, I do my normal stream as well. So I hope to see you soon, Rue. And uh, Nate, Mr. Noodle, I mean, Mr. Noodle, I'll see you here in a few minutes. But uh, have a good night, Nate, and anybody else in stream that's just chilling, hanging out, watching, or whatever. Thank you for being here, and have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. It's a little strange trying to time yourself, right? Getting in front of enemies and things like that. Because you can't, like, move and turn at the same time, really, without doing a giant circle. Like, you you know, like you can with analog controls. There's no, like, quick turn around or, or snap to the left sort of deal or anything like that. You have to stand in place and turn or, or walk a direction and turn. It's really weird. The I wonder why the analog controls aren't working. Check the not the status settings, options. When using DualShock 2, enables button analog. Sensitivity level button. Analog. Min gives max at min pressure. I wonder if it's talking about like the actual button buttons. Because some of the buttons on a PS2 were analog, not just, you know, the analog sticks. This may have something to do with that that they're actually talking about. I don't know. Just, uh, just a magic stone. Gotta be careful around this water. Last thing I want to do is lose all my progress just because I fell in a, a, a small river here. A river through a random cave. A bit strange, but... Okay. So that's where we came from. There's a... Nothing else up here that I can see. I saw the broken bridge over there. Maybe at some point we will be able to repair it. Or, or like... Like I kind of thought earlier, maybe we'll be able to gain the ability to swim at some point. I don't know. But I guess there's nothing left to do but go back down and cross the water. I probably could have jumped from the top up there, but I uh, I don't know if you take fall damage or anything. And I would rather not die for a third time in this very beginning of the game. Okay, I'm pretty sure I killed this guy before, so... I assume that means they respawn over time. Different enemies do. Before I get too used to one control scheme, let me look and see... What were the other ones again? 